15 magnificent heritage sites that have, are, and will disappear permanently at the hands of humanity. Mother Nature has bestowed upon us many masterpieces. But the wonders that existed for thousands or even millions of years vanish in just a few moments due to human intervention. There are also structures bearing the marks of culture and history that, to this day, exist no more. Looking through the images before and after the devastation of these sites, everyone can't help but feel regret and shudder. Below is a list of the 15 most magnificent things that have been destroyed. Number 1. Duckbill Sandstone, Oregon, USA It is a highly popular tourist attraction in the Northwest Pacific. The Oregon Parks and Recreation Department erected barriers to prevent anyone from accidentally damaging this ancient rock formation. However, they did not account for intentional acts of vandalism. In August 2016, a group of teenagers climbed over the barriers, and three of them pushed over a rock formation while the others cheered. Unfortunately, the vandals have not yet been caught. Number 2. 300-year-old Robin Hood tree legally felled. The renowned 300-year-old sycamore tree, famous for its appearance in the blockbuster film Robin Hood in Northumberland, was illegally felled by a teenager, sparking outrage in the public. On September 29, 2023, the UK police announced the arrest of a 16-year-old on charges of willful damage for cutting down the iconic Sycamore Gap Tree in Northumberland National Park the night before. The Sycamore Gap Tree, approximately 300 years old, gained widespread recognition as the Robin Hood Tree when it featured in the 1991 blockbuster film Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. The tree is situated next to Hadrian's Wall, built by the Romans around 1,900 years ago recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. The motive behind the teenager's act in felling the Robin Hood tree remains unclear. Authorities in the UK have not disclosed the identity of the individual. This is a globally renowned landmark. The act of vandalism has shocked and angered the local community. It is an extremely sad day. Number 3. Goblin Rock Utah, USA. In 2013, while leading a boy scout group through Goblin Valley in Utah, Glenn Taylor encountered unique rock formations known as Goblin Rocks, shaped over millions of years. These formations were exclusive to this location and couldn't be found anywhere else in the world. Unfortunately, they have now disappeared due to the actions of this group. Instead of appreciating the natural wonders, Glenn Taylor's group deemed them a threat to the safety of Passersby. Consequently, they decided to destroy the formations, and with a few shoves, Glenn Taylor obliterated one of nature's wonders. Meanwhile, their friends filmed the entire process and uploaded it online. Subsequently, the group faced charges, fines were imposed, and warning signs were placed in the area urging future visitors to leave the rock formations undisturbed. Number 4. The Tree of Tenere in the Sahara Desert This was the only tree within a radius of over 250 miles in the Sahara Desert. The Tenere served as a landmark for travelers for centuries, a miracle considering it could survive in such a harsh environment. Unfortunately, in 1973, a drunk driver from Libya collided with the solitary tree, breaking its trunk. Today, at the location of the tree, a metal sculpture has been erected. The deceased tree has been placed in the National Museum for display. Number 5. 17,000 year old cave paintings. In 1940, Marcel Ravidat and three teenagers in France while searching for their lost dog, stumbled upon a cave with over 600 paintings and 500 engravings on limestone depicting animals, humans hunting, and abstract symbols. 
The cave paintings include 65 large animal figures, such as wild horses, aurochs, and deer, ranging from 7 to 10 feet. Notably, there are four large bull figures, the longest measuring over 16.4 feet. This masterpiece of the ancient world, known as the Lascaux Cave, dates back 17,300 years, preserving the works of prehistoric artists. Unfortunately, its popularity among tourists led to environmental disturbances, fostering the growth of a fungus that posed a threat to the masterpieces. Just 23 years after its discovery, the cave was closed. In its place, Lusco II, an intricately crafted replica of the original cave, was opened in 1983 to help preserve the authentic artwork from damage. Number 6. Aral Sea Once the fourth largest lake in the world, the Aral Sea has all but disappeared from the global map. In the 1960s, the Soviet Union initiated an irrigation project to redirect rivers that supplied water to the Aral Sea, causing it to shrink significantly. Spectral imaging photos taken over the years illustrate the dramatic reduction in the sea's size. By the year 2000, the lake had diminished to a fraction of its original size, with the remaining water becoming increasingly saline and polluted by fertilizers and pesticides. It has now become a surreal landscape with desolate, dried up land and scattered rusting ships. In 2005, Kazakhstan constructed a dam in a last ditch effort to save the lake, but it may never return to its former glory. Number 7. Bung Kak Lake, Cambodia. It used to be a beautiful lake in the northern part of Phnom Penh. International tourists often visited this scenic area to stay in restaurants, enjoy the view, and watch sunsets. However, today, all that remains of it is just a name. In 2007, the Cambodian government granted rights to the Shukaku Company. By 2010, this company had filled more than 90% of the lake area with sand to facilitate the construction of various buildings and complexes. The company is owned by the spouse of a ruling party senator, impacting not only tourism activities in the area, but also causing difficulties for 4,000 families dependent on the lake for their livelihoods. Many people had to relocate, receiving only minimal compensation. Number 8. Branconella Lhotse Shrimp at Uluru, Australia Uluru is one of Australia's most famous landmarks. It is a sandstone rock formation created over 600 million years ago and was once underwater. It now stands 2,831 feet above ground. Uluru is renowned for a creature called Branconella Lhotse, an ancient and rare shrimp species found only in the water holes on Uluru. However, they disappeared in the 1970s. In 2009, researchers conducted a study and concluded that tourist waste was the culprit as they practiced hygiene activities on the summit of Uluru. Uluru holds significant spiritual importance for the indigenous Anangu people, who insist that no one should climb Uluru they emphasize that people need to be aware of right and wrong and take responsibility for their actions. Clearly, not everyone shares this perspective. Number 9. Chakultaya Glacier, Bolivia This used to be the highest ski resort in the world, where you could ski above the clouds at an altitude of approximately 17,388 feet while enjoying the breathtaking view of Lake Titicaca. Due to the impact of climate change, 80% of the glacier disappeared within 20 years. The remaining portion melted away by 2009, six years earlier than predicted. The ski area, once a year-round destination for tourists, has now turned into a ghost town with abandoned buildings. The impact is not only on tourism, but also on the local community, as their water supply heavily relied on the glaciers surrounding the area. 
Number 10. Nazca Lines, Peru. The Nazca Lines, 2,000-year-old drawings, are considered one of the world's greatest archaeological mysteries by UNESCO. They are a collection of gigantic drawings on the coastal plain, approximately 225 miles south of Lima. It is the world's most famous collection of large drawings that can only be clearly observed from above, making it a remarkable sight. However, it has been damaged multiple times, partly due to its proximity to the Pan American Highway and partly due to the actions of an environmental organization named Greenpeace. In 2014, the Peruvian government was furious when these activists conducted a public stunt. They placed a sign with an environmental slogan next to the giant hummingbird geoglyph. However, their footsteps and the sign caused damage to the site. They were not the only ones to harm it, as drivers on the highway also caused damage. In February 2018, a truck driver intentionally drove his tractor trailer off the road to cross through the historic site, damaging many drawings. This individual was later arrested and charged with attacking cultural heritage. Number 11. Torres del Paine National Park, Chile. Torres del Paine National Park is renowned for its attractions, including the granite towers, the Patagonian mountain range, the Grey Glacier, and the wildlife. Despite being a land of enchanting beauty with glaciers and natural wonders, the park has been devastated by numerous human caused wildfires. The first occurred in February 2005, lasting for 10 days and destroying 7% of the park, caused by a tourist using a gas stove in a prohibited camping area. Later, in February 2011, another tourist illegally lit a campfire in a different area. Fortunately, rain prevented significant damage. Subsequently, in December 2011, another tourist caused another wildfire by burning some toilet paper. This was not the last incident, as in 2015, two other tourists were banned from the park for two years for attempting to illegally light a campfire. In an effort to protect these beautiful wonders, the government implemented regulations, including the prohibition of activities such as graffiti by artists, spray painting, or drawing on walls in all national parks. Severe penalties are imposed on those deliberately violating these prohibitions. Number 12. Saigon Tax Trade Center. It used to be the largest and oldest shopping center in Saigon, located in the prime central area of the city. World-renowned brands began to emerge and showcase their products within the Saigon Tax Trade Center. The precursor to the Saigon Tax Trade Center was the GMC Grocery Store, inaugurated in 1924, and it was a shopping destination for the wealthy, including the French, Chinese, and Vietnamese elites. Almost all major Parisian brands had a presence here. However, after undergoing several name changes and transformations in 2014, Saigon Tax Trade Center was demolished to make way for a new skyscraper, leaving behind a sense of nostalgia for the past heritage of the people of Saigon. Number 13. Maya Bay, Thailand. Considered one of the five most beautiful bays in Thailand, Maya Bay is located on Phi Phi Le Island. The bay gained fame as the backdrop for the popular movie, The Beach, in 2000. Previously, this turquoise paradise was surrounded by towering limestone cliffs, up to 328 feet high and lush greenery. On average, about 5,000 tourists visited this place each day. However, in June 2018, Maya Bay was officially closed indefinitely for restoration due to the environmental damage caused by littering from tourists. The massive influx of visitors each year contributed to the disappearance of Maya Bay from Thailand's tourist map. Number 14. Pont des Arts Love Lock Bridge. In France, 
Almost every romantic couple wishes to inscribe their names on padlocks, attach them to this love lock bridge, and then throw the keys into the river, symbolizing their eternal love. At one point, this bridge held as many as 700,000 love locks, with a total weight exceeding 45 tons. Fearing the structural integrity of the bridge, in 2012, the government had to remove tens of thousands of love locks and install glass panels to prevent anyone from hanging them again. Number 15. Cultural Revolution Numerous historical sites were destroyed during the Cultural Revolution initiated by the Communist Party of China from 1966 to 1976. The Long Men Grottoes, famous for their collection of 100,000 statues in 2,345 caves, saw many statues destroyed during the Cultural Revolution. The tomb of Confucius was flattened and excavated. Monuments were smashed into pieces. Clay statues of 18 arets, over 1,000 years old, were destroyed. Scriptures brought to China by an Indian monk 2,000 years ago were burned. The jade horse was shattered into pieces. Linji Huaning of the Zen sect left behind a body that did not decay, but Hong Weibing used an iron rod to pierce holes in the chest and back of Linji dragged out the remains and threw them into the Buddhist hall. The remaining parts of Linji were fortunately buried and preserved and remain intact to this day. There are very few truly intact historical sites in China after the Cultural Revolution. Many things were reconstructed later. Many items in museums are even less pitiful than the history of more than 70 dynasties spanning 5,000 years. This case also concludes our exploration journey. If you were impressed with any particular site, please leave a comment below. We hope you like and share it with your friends, as well as subscribe to the channel to not miss upcoming interesting videos. Thank you sincerely for watching. And now, goodbye, and see you again.